Hi everyone, the preseason is a strange time in the life of a Western Hockey League franchise, but we have to give the Hurricanes credit for how good they looked in their initial preseason tilt last night in Tabor against the Calgary Hitmen. Let's pick things up in the second period. The Hurricanes reduke, stole the puck from Calgary's Matt Foster and took it across to crease the score on Evan Johnson, tying the game up at two. Two minutes later, Hitman on a power play, Ben Thomas threw the puck towards net. It looked like it deflected off of Calder Brooks, but Thomas got credit. Hitman were back on top, just over halfway through the second period. Kane's Jamal Watson goes in alone. A great deep to score top shelf. The game now tied at three. 80 seconds after that, Hitman had a hard time clearing the zone here. The puck got scooped up by Duke, who took the shot. Sam McKechnie was there to clean up the rebound. It is now 4-3 Hurricanes, third period. We'll watch Duke. He was all over the ice last night. He's got the puck skating up the zone. Gained the Hitman blue line, and then Duke was nailed by Thomas at the faceoff circle, and that's when emotions ran a little high. The Canes, Brady Ramsey did not take kindly to that hit on Duke, and off come the gloves. What a surprise. A scrap in the preseason. Make the final 7-4 Canes. The Hitman, by the way, play Red Deer tonight in Nanton. They got some of the jitters out in the first 10 minutes, and then it seemed like they, they got their comfort level going. Um, we got behind one goal, uh, got behind a couple times, actually, and they showed a lot of character battling back. So yeah, all in all, I was pretty uh, pleased with that, but we realized we still have a lot of work to do, and the guys are going to keep building. It, it's always nice to win your, your first game, whether it's exhibition or regular season, but uh, you know, this group and the coaching staff, myself, management, we're never going to be satisfied. We, we always want more. Also last evening in Western Hockey League preseason play, the Tigers went in a swift current and beat up the Broncos 4-2 and the ice were trounced 4-1 by the Americans. Seems just like yesterday that the Brooks Bandits were winning the RBC Cup and they begin defense of their national title tonight. Up in Camrose, the Bandits' first home game of the AJHL's 50th anniversary season won't be until next Friday. Preparations are underway for the first ever marathon hockey game of its kind in Lethbridge over the weekend. 86 skaters will face off against cancer by participating in a 24 hour long hockey game. Puck drops in about 90 minutes time at 7 o'clock and will continue straight through until Saturday at 7. Players will take turns every hour switching shifts. A few members of the Hurricanes will be on hand as well to be guest coaches that is. The Canadian Cancer Society is hoping to raise over $20,000 for the cause. I really felt that a lot of people were really excited about the uh, about the hockey, but there's actually quite a lot of people that are also really caring about the message that we're bringing. That uh, whether the symbolism of you know working so hard and you know it doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't compare to the struggles that somebody with uh, that you know somebody's going through with cancer. But you know we're doing our part to try to you know do a little bit of hard work and uh, raise some money for the for these people as well. One of the main things I have always stated is that I wanted to be, have a vested interest in the community and this is a big community event and uh, I'll support uh, any good cause anytime. Going to be some blisters at the NMAC Center this weekend. The event is free to the public. Donations to the Canadian Cancer Society can be made at the NMAC Center during the action. There are a couple of football games I want to remind you of that take place tonight in the CFL. The Stampeders are up in Edmonton for Friday night football. And the high school football season begins in southern Alberta with the mighty Catholic Central Cougars tangling with Chinook High at the U of L at 7.30 as well. There are five exhibition games locally. Now, a special new stamp issued by Canada Post is raising eyebrows as people wonder if the Postal Service picked a controversial former Canucks player the stamp is one of several that feature Canadian NHL teams. The Canucks version has a player that many think resembles Todd Bertuzzi, who played eight seasons with the Canucks, but became infamous for a controversial hit that ended Steve Moore's career in 2004. Canada Post says the resemblance is just a coincidence and that the player is a fictional composite image. Who could forget that gutless attack from behind by Bertuzzi? I would think you would make someone look a little less fictional. Maybe a little more like Trevor Linden. Perhaps.